take a nigga bitch with this haircut. Come here. About to cop a new fit in this haircut. I'm fresh. Don't ask me to do shit. I got my I haircut. Shit. Feeling shit. like a new man with this haircut. Looking good. Fuck, fuck. I'm a chicken. Ew, gross. He don't even know what to do. Unsanitary. Well, I tell you all these kids ain't shit. You can't take these miniature psychopaths nowhere. Me and the kids go out and about early. I got two places to go, people. The post office and the gas station. We go to the post office, no issues. We get to the gas station, I hop out, start putting a little go-go juice in the truck, ask the kids you need anything. Scoop, of course, always needs something to drink and a snack. Braylon, I got to pee, Dad. All right, let's go inside. I go inside, I get Scoot a little drink, a little snack. I'm waiting on Braylon to come out the bathroom. I'm waiting on Braylon to come out the bathroom. I'm waiting on Braylon to come out the bathroom. Finally, I just walk up to the cashier and say, ma'am, just ring us up. She starts ringing us up. Out of nowhere, Braylon comes flying his ass out the bathroom, runs over, grabs the Mountain Dew, comes over and just slings it on the counter. I was like, damn, man, what took you so long in the bathroom? He said, unlike you, Dad, it take a little longer to pull this monster out and put it back up. Shut your little ass up. You don't even know what you're talking about. I said, ma'am, I'm so sorry. She laughed and she's like, ha ha, kids and their imagination, to which Braylon replied, Oh, uh, I'm not joking. Taps his knee, said it's a monster. If Jimmy has two apples, listen, I'm not playing. Two apples, and Emily gave him two more. Fix your face. <laughs> two more. How many does Jimmy have? You must want your ass electric here. <laughs> you best to get it right. <laughs> Hurry up, put it in now. Ooh. Next question. If Michael has 16 oranges, and his brother Alex came and took eight away. How many does he have? You gotta refuse to be stupid, you mucky nut. Yikes. And I have eight, six, what is eight plus eight? So, if I if eight <laughs> plus eight is 16, what is 16 minus eight? So, why would you say 10? Put it in. Stop acting like you're stupid. Listen, I respect my elders and the elderly, but I do not allow them to just disrespect me. If you come out the side of your neck, I'm gonna come out the crack of my ass and I'm gonna shit on your day. We went to breakfast this morning and these wannabe golden girls that I'm gonna refer to as the decrepit duchesses had the audacity to smile at me on my way in and throughout breakfast began a conversation about me. One said, no, the black girl. The other one was like, look at how her top ties in the front. She has the slits all the way up the side. I just think it's shameful. The other one was like, it's slutty. And I said, and it is. And which one of you decrepit bitches is gonna do something about it? And then the one was like, well, no, it's just my granddaughter wears stuff like that and I don't approve. And I said, but I'm not your granddaughter, so I'm gonna cuss you out for the both of us. Because if she dresses anything like me, I'm sure she feels hella empowered next to your wrinkly, dinky, cotton ball head ass. Now shut the fuck up and eat your cottage cheese, Miriam. And she said, my name isn't Miriam. And I said, and my name isn't Black Girl, bitch. <laughs> At the end of the day, we are all human beings. <laughs> child to be a male child. <laughs> Bro, you can't mail kids. That's illegal. Look at him. He petty. Keep us posted. <laughs> oh, smart. I hate grapes. They disgust me. <laughs> what they be saying? <laughs> what they be, they be talking about you cuz? <laughs> I love chicken permission. get home from work. Are you talking like that on purpose or this how you really talk? Babe, come on, mama. Alright, so mom, what we call this? Milk. What it's called? Milk. Say it one more time. Milk. The brick, right? <laughs> For those of you who think that I never acknowledge my white side, I just left Starbucks. I hit the barista with one of these. I yelled at a manager and waved at a dog on my way home. Quite frankly, I'm exhausted. Let me call Trace because you couldn't help. Miss Buttersworth, what are you doing? Hello? Trace, wiggle. Go, go, Lou. Look at your girl. Okay. It's 
Bitch, she in here cutting up. What the? Look at her. Miss Butterfly, what are you? <laughs> Get it, go. Look at her, go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. 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 oh my God. I am so freaking weak. Oh, big grease. <laughs> White people, we're going to have to start raising hell. Things aren't going to change unless you speak up for yourself. And to all of those white people who are pathetic and want to refer to themselves as colonizer, well, I've got news for you. They will never pick you. And I know. I finally got invited to the cookout, and I showed up with cornrows and a potato salad with raisins in it, and I worked really hard on both of them, and I got thrown out. When she asked me how I seasoned my chicken... What does that even mean? I put it in the fucking microwave. What more do you want? Clearly all know that one person. That one person that when you say bye, them hoes are hanging up that phone. Not even if you remember another conversation. Them hoes are out. They'll literally be like, yeah, bro, that was like super crazy. Hey, bro, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Hey, do you... judging you based off the artist you listen to. I had to come up with a category just for these three. What do T.I. Tory Lanez and the baby have in common? They're toxic and tiny. These pieces of shit. T.I. had to marry a bitch smaller than him just so he would get to feel big and before anybody goes, don't call Tiny a bitch. She supports her husband, which means she cannot be trusted. Uh, Tory Lanez shot Megan. <laughs> Canceled. And then the baby's homophobic rants. Canceled. <laughs> Number two, anybody listening to Green Day is probably loyal as fuck. If they were your favorite band 20 years ago, they're still your favorite band today. And for that simple fact, I trust you. Number three, anybody listening to Snow Allegra probably text their ex something like fuck you just so they can pull up and fuck you because y'all were never really done with each other. You just think it's cute to break up and pretend to fall back in love. And I think that's toxic. <laughs> I'm not judging because I want you around. Mama said put the clothes in the dryer. I can't do it cause I'm watching the baby. Yes you can, give them to me, I got them. Better get back or get hit in your face. See last time I got in trouble for talking so now I really gotta watch what I say. Well that's what you get cause I never get caught. Well we'll see what's about to happen today. Mom, what? I told her what's up. She said forget it. Okay here I come. Mama he lying. Girl shut up. I heard you talking thinking you were tough. Hey, don't be talking to that child like that. Mama, I think she wanna get slapped. Slap who? Baby, that's cow. I'm about to whoop your ass. How? When I got a baby in my hand. Ow! I'm really whooping your ass. Bow. Now, nah, don't you run up on the bed? Now, nah. mama, whoop her ass. Hey. Since she always talking back. Hey. Now, nah, I'm about to whoop your ass. Hey. Since you cussing in my house like you're bad. Hey. Man, I'm running through the house cause she ain't finna hit me. Man, I gotta hide like I'm running from the police. Up under the bed and she finna come get me. Then I saw her footsteps creeping up slowly. I thought you could hide. Whoop him since he wanna celebrate my. Both of y'all don't lost your damn minds. Now you won't punish me no going outside. Ma, I ain't even do that. That was you, boy. That's why I lie. 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 Best Today we'll be done. Brenda's... Brenda's beaver needs a barber. <laughs> Brenda has a beaver, and she's ready to confess. As soft and sweet as it may be, her beaver is a mess. Brenda's beaver's big, Brenda's beaver's hairy. <laughs> Every guy who's seen it says Brenda's beaver's scary. Brenda took her beaver for a swim down at the lake. For the looks that she received, she figured that was a mistake. She stuffed that furry mound 
and two horse romans <laughs> and it was romans it right? <laughs> it stuck out all around it was anything but cute some who saw it laughed others were just stunned brenda's beaver was hanging out soaking up the sun <laughs> i'm done <laughs> Look who's on my hand when I'm passing this ball in line. Damn. 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 Try not to laugh, it's too easy. Now it's trying not to smile. Let's get it. phrases that only make sense to black southerners pocketbook the <laughs> devil is beating his wife if your grandma tell you to go grab a switch you already know what's gonna happen commode hard-headed billfold book bag cold drink we don't say soda we don't say pop we don't say soda pop just cold drink growing up our parents always told us to mind them dirty basket tennis shoes we don't call it a shopping cart we call it a book <laughs> all and if you go even further down south they start saying Earl. Earl. <laughs> no control tote which is kind of the same thing as a pocketbook but you can use either one you ain't got a pot to piss in nor window to throw it out of i pulled up on you with some steamy little caesar's pizza what you gonna do um sir if you're not gonna share, I'm every bit of 265. So I might just punch you in your bird chest and take your pizza. But I'm not violent. So the first thing I would do is ask you where you got your lace front because I've been looking for one of them with the braids like that. Mm hmm. So me and baby mama are out shopping around in Dollar Tree in Hansville, Alabama. And look what she found. There, look. <laughs> They're segregated. So this is what this is called progression in Alabama. <laughs> all right. Got them all mixed up. Look, now. look. Body know who it is. What it was, little B. Hey, man, it's that who like mixtape. What the fuck? Hey, how many knuckles you got on that finger, <laughs> my guy? Because it, it feels like it's extra. You know, you look, you look like you love to point shit out. Oh, wow. My man can get to the bottom of a Pringles can with no effort. Yikes. This is the craziest thing that I ever seen. Like, is that a real finger? Or did you, like, lose it in a war and then they replaced it with a Harry <laughs> Potter wand? Right. What the fuck is going on, you long-fingered... Don't I know you from somewhere, actually? Oh. <laughs> I know that lady did not just come for my life again. He got the right bitch in the wrong goddamn end. I got my food song. Watch out. Dude, what the? Told, I never actually wanted to come here. Even though scientists try and convince me that I'm the one that made it to the egg first, so I actually wanted to live, that's a lie. Point of correction. I went to the egg to look at it, not touch it, just to look at it because I was curious. I wanted to see what was happening and then just swim the other way. But I feel like in the spur of the moment, one of the other guys pushed me, even though we didn't have hands back then. We were all so young. But I feel like somebody pushed me, and before you knew it, meiosis, mitosis, morning sickness, nine months later, here I am. The scapegoat. I was literally pushed out of my comfort zone to come out here 
and endure all of this. None of the other ones actually wanted to be here now. That's how I ended up out here. Attention passengers, this is your flight attendant Keisha Jones. Oh God. This flight is going from Atlanta to Miami. All of my ladies who are going to Miami for a BBL, please remember to bring your donuts back. You cannot stand up on donuts. the flight back, okay? Oh. Do not forget, <laughs> once again, all of my ladies who are traveling to Miami to get a BBL, please remember to bring your donuts. You will not be allowed to stand up the whole flight. I hope you have a blessed and prosperous BBL procedure. Not a blessed Thank and prosperous BBL procedure. <laughs> Oh damn, sir. Everybody jump on on is on your nachos. Well, well, I'm not gonna let you make it past that. What the fuck is a John La Panana? Badass little well. kids. Your hair is cute. You You got that done for Coach, huh? He be pulling it. Pull them books out. Pull it. Get them books out. Go ahead and turn page 365. Millennial then. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I still got serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Taylor Gang. Oh, wow. Taylor Gang. Oh, Y'all heard that new Wiz Khalifa song? <laughs> Y'all heard that new Rich Homie Kwan mixtape? Oh. Y'all seen the weekend's new music video? Wow. Are you trying to ride me to the hookah bar after school? You got a kick. Emmy, Emmy, Emmy. They're not even going to check your ID. As long as you with me, they're not going to check your ID. I'm telling you right now. It's underscore, underscore, Taylor Tony with a zero, underscore, underscore, big ass little Ooh. You out of me? I'm about to kick you right now. Hey, yo, my kick is live right now. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> what y'all doing? Y'all trying to go with us to the hookah bar? All right, follow me. Okay, baby, this your stop. Make sure you leave me five stars, too, because that's real important. Oh, okay, I got you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, I did want to tell you that this is a rough area, so you might want to be careful. Oh, no, I'm all right. My boy lives right here, and plus, you know, I can fight. <laughs> okay. Oh, you can fight? Yeah. What do you mix with? Oh, I'm uh, white and black. Oh, okay, yeah. so the black side of you can fight. Yeah, a white side too, but yeah. <laughs> All right, I did want to ask you one more question. The area that I picked you up from, is it an affordable area? Because I like that area. Yeah, I mean, it's straight. I like it too because it's right down from the mall. So, I mean, it's, it's good, yeah. Okay. All right. Make sure you tip because you look like a tipper, especially your white side. Oh, I got you. I got you on the app. But I don't want no monetary tip. What you mean? I want to see the tip of that dick. Huh? The tip of that dick. I, um... Oh, you need some motivation, baby? Okay, well then why is she blaming you? Why is she blaming you out of everybody in the class? Everybody that's in the class all of a sudden is you. You know what? <laughs> You've been in this office like four times this semester and it's really starting to sound like the boy who lied to the book. So if I call her phone right now, you're not gonna have it. It's not on you. Oh, uh -huh, okay, okay. <laughs> What's your number, baby? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. I can't tell you what to do with your ringtone. But you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Give that young lady her phone back. She killed me with this video. Hello. Hi. This message is for Charity Akezia. That's me. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I butchered the last name. 
Please know I tried my best. You did try. <laughs> so when asked if Egypt was in Africa, mm. you said, no, it's in China. Yeah, it was. Well, I didn't know that. Mm. Thank you for educating no me. No problem. But then this other nice lady mm. says, silly, it's not in China. Egypt is in Alabama in the United States. Well, we do have Egypt in Alabama, too. In Alabama. I was so confused at first. How could this be? All this time, I thought it was in Africa. <laughs> But then you explained it. <coughs> Sometimes Egypt has to be moved. It has to be relocated for whatever reason. Africa moves. I'm not sure right. I understand completely, but I guess I follow for the most part. Africa moves. What? Well, Egypt is in Australia now. But this, okay. <laughs> this makes no sense to me. What? You have some explaining to do. Okay. And to my cat. Okay. Mm. As you can see here, yes, Egypt <laughs> is in Alabama in the United States. Go! But it is also in Arkansas and in Pennsylvania. Those are just spiritual Three branches we leave behind. States. <laughs> Those are just spiritual branches. Now, if you come up here to the Girl. Middle, you'll see it for yourself. Uh, there it is Egypt and Alabama, Egypt and Arkansas, spiritual branch. and Egypt way up here <laughs> in Pennsylvania. Branch. Spiritual branch. These places uh, are nowhere near each other. Yeah. These are three completely different cities. And three completely different states. Yeah, and Egypt is in Australia right now, so yeah. How can this be? No. How it can is. It be in three different places. Don't question it, sis. It's spiritual. At one time, and in May in Africa, and in China, unless it's just here right now. It's spiritual. Okay. This makes no sense to me. Oh my God. <laughs> Explain this sorcery. <laughs> Roses are red. I love to eat spam. Big worm, big hole, big... I don't give a damn. <laughs> to wear on your first day of school. But first, you're going to want a fun button down, as well as an appropriate pair of shorts. A sophisticated blazer, in case you get cold. Personally, I like to belt my blazers to accentuate my waist. I popped on my favorite sneakers. Super cute. Moving on to hair. I decided to do a high ponytail to keep the hair out of my face. I added my mask. Don't forget your lunch. Your cute school bag. You can carry all of your things, either sunglasses or your normal school glasses. And that's the look. Enjoy your first day of school. Hey, girl with the fake pearl earring. Why don't you take that blue scarf off your head? Let me see how far your hairline goes back. Oh, that's a good one, man, Elisa. Why don't you lift your head back? Let me make applesauce out of that Adam's apple, bitch. Come on, y'all. I really don't want y'all to argue today. Oh, my goodness. Hey, David. How are you? Listen, can you do me a big favor? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I'm gonna need you to shut the fuck up, bitch. You know what, bitch? You've been popping off at the mouth ever since Scarlett Johansson plays you in that stupid-ass movie. I'm about sick of your ass. Bitch, I've been around since 1665. I can say whatever I want to. And I've been hanging on this wall since 1503, bitch. So what's up? Well, you know, actually, you guys, I Google searched myself and it says that I was produced around 1501 so technically yeah honey we know you've been standing over there with that little old dick and them ashy ass thighs looking like you got two belly buttons bitch Ooh. bitch you are always coming for that man's itty bitty ass genitalia and you the one that's got that underground railroad running between your damn legs bitch Ooh. Yeah, and since you want to be so damn shady all the time, bitch, I did an Ancestry.com on you, and turns out your family's from Birmingham, Alabama, bitch. I thought you were Dutch. Dutch my ass. She was conceived in a single wide trailer with the wheels still on it. You know, you know what? I. You know what? You know what? I, 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 you know what? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but it would take a bulldozer to break yours, you big wide back bitch. Mona, did you say she was conceived in a trailer with the wheels on it? I sure did, bitch. <laughs> <sighs> oh, okay, Mona. Well, at least I'm not sitting over there looking like Brit the Hitman Heart, bitch. I might have the body of a professional wrestler, bitch, but at least I'm not sitting there wrapped up in them old dirty ass clothes. My clothes aren't dirty, they're they're vintage. Oh, bitch, please. The only thing vintage on you is that old bat cave cootie cat. You know, don't be surprised, Mona, when one night you wake up and I done took this head scarf off and I got it wrapped around your damn neck, bitch. Bitch, that fabric has been on your head for over 600 years. You better not put that bag of wet penny scarf around my damn neck, bitch. You guys, please. We are supposed to be well-respected pieces of art. Shut the hell up, you headless horseman. I'm about sick of you calling me names, little whore on the prairie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't y'all make me sick.
Let's make a fun.